Some people might remember last year that I made a, a fan boat with a couple of uh, soda bottles. Um, the real purpose of that boat wasn't really to make a fan boat. That was kind of a, I got sidetracked. The real purpose was to make a testing platform for some of my smaller air engines. Um, since then, I've added this front piece that basically has a uh, tire valve to pump it up. You know, so it has its check valve in there, so I can pop it up, take it off, I'm good to go. And I have this feeding out to a tube, to a aquarium uh, air control. Now the plan is to have one of my motors, or one of my various air engines, attached here. And I still have to build the piece to drive a small prop that I made from uh, stacking, stack cutting some CDs. Just kind of twisting it, gluing it on, gluing them together. So, I can pump this up to probably 70, maybe 80 pounds of pressure, maybe more, I haven't tried. Then I can just turn this, and the motor runs. Turn it off. And this one will run a couple minutes. The problem is I have to keep adjusting the valve to keep it going, so that might be a bit of an issue. But the rate of running, I expect, is going to be slower once it's driving the uh, froth. So it should run longer. Because it kind of goes from not spinning to spinning real fast. But I also have plans for a much... Uh, another rotary engine that I think will work a little more efficiently. But well, I'm making progress. For now, I've made a basically extended piece of plexiglass here with a couple notches in it and uh, just some tubes on the end. I'm going to run the prop with uh, basically a belt drive kind of deal with a couple pulleys for now. In the future, I'm going to try to make a small bell gear for it, kind of like this, but uh, that should prove pretty difficult. On the boat, I've added a support to bring this up and out of the way so it isn't down in the water when it's sitting there. It's still going to be a little front heavy, so I'll probably have to adjust the bottles forward. Here's the mount for the prop. It's going to go on basically just like that. It turns. And uh, we're just going to hold it on with a rubber band. A couple of thumbtacks are in place. So it'll go like that. See now, but that'll just bring the drive down below. The next piece I have to build is essentially um, some kind of linkage link from the engine to here. So basically, it'll be a small universal attachment that I'm hoping will work with several of the engines. So that's what I'm going to work on next. Just have to round that off a bit. It'll be set. I'm working on the piece now that will go on the crankshaft. Or actually, this will be on the shaft that goes to the prop. I've already drilled the end out for that size. And uh, it'll interlock something like that. I did make this too short, so I'll probably just try and modify this one. But I've already updated my plan here to give it a little greater range of motion once the universal joints are created.
I left the end so it holds together. Let's see how we're going to do this. Once again, with a file, we'll have the uh, finished piece. My first attempt at the part that's going to connect it in the middle, I'm making the hole loose and thinking that if I have the holes in the, uh, the shafts tight, that that might work better, but we'll see. So here's the, the small connecting piece in the middle here. One side is going to go all the way through. Then when I do this one, I'm going to just do short pegs on each side to go into it. And then I'll put like a dab of epoxy on each side to keep them in place. I think that should work out pretty well for the universal. I might have made that a hair too tight, but we can loosen it once I cut it. There we go. It's my length that'll be between my engine and my drive. Everything done now. I got my universal hooked up to my motor. We got a little range of movement here because of that. Down below we have our prop. Up here, I have it pumped up to about 60 pounds of pressure. Got a lot of blow by in the engine, I kind of took it all apart so it was kind of running high friction. So I could, uh, so I could uh, loosen things up. It would run a little easier. Now it runs a lot less air, but a lot of air slips by. Interesting to see when she's in the water. Not too far in the pinches, but things. We'll give things a try here. The boat's pretty front heavy, but uh, you know, looks like the belt is slipping. Whoa! Big race. Well, thanks for watching. In my next video, I'm going to try to address the belt slipping, make a new belt. I'll probably try a couple different engines before I start building my new uh, trinary rotary engine. Thanks again. Bye.